This meadow has been like magical to me. Yeah. The bulls I've killed out of this meadow. That's him for sure, 523, set it for 525. 523. This week we're heading to New Mexico to hunt with Black Mountain Outfitters. The best part about hunting with them for me, and I know Megan's hunted there with us, um, is the guides are, they're more than just guides, they're friends. You know, we keep in contact with them all year. You know, they kind of tell us what they're seeing. Um, and it just makes it more fun. It makes the trip, you know, enjoyable. That you're, you're not just hunting with them, you're, you're spending it with friends. The day before we left to go um, to New Mexico, we flew out this time. Usually there's a big group of us that go this year. It's just me and dad going out at this time. Um, Hadley had found you know a really nice bull that we we're probably gonna try to go after and then uh, once my hunt was done um, dad's actually hunted a different unit with that's muzzleloader only um, so I woke up Sunday morning ready to get on the airplane thinking I was gonna go try to shoot you know a, a really nice you know six by six bull probably uh, you know a 330 class bull and I was excited about it and then I woke up Sunday morning and realized that Hadley had found another bull the night before um, that he thought was you know probably you know in that 370 plus range just a giant bull and he was like hey you need to get here like asap i want to try to you know shoot this bull yet to, or sunday night and we're flying in on sunday and i'm like well, i ain't gonna have no time to do that so get everything arranged um, get on the plane we flew out at 11 30 and up landing new mexico time 1 30. Uh, when we had landed um, corey our camera guy was picking us up and he, he got there about two o'clock, picked us up. Now, legal shooting light, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it's like 5.30 or 5.45, something out there. Um, Corey, we had a, you know, he picked us up, so we had about a three hour drive to get to the ranch where we normally hunt. So we're cruising, we get there. It's, I believe it was, you know, about 4.15ish when we pulled in. Um, got all set up, shot the gun quick. Uh, we had about another half an hour drive to get back into the meadow that uh, they had been seeing this bull come into. And so we get going and it's about, I don't know, it was about 4.45 by the time we got to where we wanted to, you know, park and start walking in. And I mean, there's no sugar coating it. It was a perfect situation. We had about a mile to walk. We got in there and the bull did exactly what he did the day before. I just knew we had to try to activate tonight to Make you go at him where he is. He might oh, be without a doubt. Like this tonight. Oh yeah, you said it was just five days. This is just a perfect spot. Got to try it. Oh, I agree. Especially Especially him. To. Yeah. Well, folks, I wish I had a little more B-roll for you, but I don't. We literally landed in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, about two hours ago, yeah, three hours ago, and hauled all their rear end to get here. Um, our good buddy Hadley, our guide for the week, found a giant bull yesterday and he thought we could kill him tonight. So instead of starting tomorrow, we activated the tag today and we got here. We got about, I don't know, probably a mile hike to get back in there and about 45 minutes till dark. So we're gonna cruise, try to cut the bull off and, and maybe get it done in, I guess not even night one, the day before night one. So stay with us because this is a bull of a lifetime if we can get in on him. So let's stay tuned.
two. Yards, are you kidding me? Yeah, baby. That was all you, buddy. Don, thank you. Give me a little recap of your day. Well, uh, we were. I had Hadley scouting for me all week uh, before we got up here, and he had found a, a great 350 bull, and I was probably, you know, that's. 330 or bigger, I'd have been happy with. Killed the 360, but 330 or bigger, definitely be happy with. So we had a 350 bull picked out, and he comes up in here the other night and finds a bull that he found the sheds off of within about 400 yards of this exact spot. And we, he told me, he's like, you gotta get out of here right now. You gotta get out of here. So we fly. Corey, my camera guy behind the camera, I gotta thank him big time. He picks us up at the airport. We drive two hours from the airport meet our guide on the highway Hadley I've killed four bulls in a row here out of this meadow four years in a row we meet him here get in here about 45 minutes to an hour before dark and we find the bull it's like I don't know it'll never happen like this again find the bull and uh, the rest is history laying right there I can see him right now so oh man are they they're pushing it <laughs> Dude, that's a bull oh that's a bull. that is a bull Kill a lot of bulls in this exact. my hands on them buggers all day long. Yeah, he's. Look at that. That's a bull of a lifetime. This meadow has been like magical to me. The bulls I've killed out of this meadow. Well, folks, I'm going to keep this short, but uh, this is a hunt of a lifetime. Killed some great bulls. Killed a 360 a couple years ago. Um, that was a bull of a lifetime. And I think I just killed another bull of a lifetime. Um, probably that 380 class. 8x8, eight eight, just a giant. I gotta give all the credit, zero to me, all to Hadley. Um, he's been scouting for me all week, found a great bull that we were planning on trying to kill, and then uh, he found this guy. We were gonna go to Lodge tonight, shoot the guns, and, and hunt tomorrow morning, but we elected when he found this guy. We had two hour, or about an hour and 45 minutes from the time we got to the ranch till dark, and somehow we made it happen. Holy moly. My surprise and everyone else's is he wasn't just a 370 bull he was you know he's a potential 400 inch bull he's a giant um, definitely the biggest bull I'll ever shoot probably ever see um, another big thanks to I mean a huge thanks to Hadley and Dakota was also involved um, a buddy of ours guiding but if it wasn't for us you know being friends with them and them out there scouting on their own time you know just to help us uh, it wouldn't have been possible. That's the only reason he found that elk for us. And, you know, it, it, I wish I would have been up on the mountain with him the day before to find the elk because, I mean, that's, I, that's why I love hunting out there is, is looking through a spotting scope and, and finding the elk myself. But it didn't work that way. Um, but I, I couldn't be happier that he was the one that found the elk for me and, and I was just the one that was lucky enough to pull the trigger on it on a world-class Make sure to check out Precision Outdoors on Instagram and Facebook.
Well, that's that's morning number one. We did not see the bulls that they had found yesterday morning, but uh, we've seen, I think, total 11 or 12 bulls. Two really, really good ones that most people would shoot. Dad elected to not shoot them, so we're looking for that real big one. We think he's, you know, at 380 plus class, so, and there's a lot of bulls in here we haven't seen yet. It's a huge area, way, way back up the main road, so, but I don't know what it was, an hour ranger ride to camp, and then another 15, 20 minute ride to where we are right now. So we'll be right back in here in a couple hours, and hopefully we find them tonight. Chris. Dad shot left. You know, he got an opportunity to shoot at this bull at 525 yards, and when he shot, he hit two feet left. Well, on that muzzle loader at 500 yards with a 10 mile an hour wind, the gun shoots two feet off. So it was that, and then when we did shoot the gun the next morning, just to make sure, it was shooting left a little bit also. So between those two combinations, um, he missed, you know, and it wasn't the gun's fault. I mean, I'll take the gun out on the range and shoot it at three, four, five hundred yards all day, and it shoots lights out. But I mean, that's hunting. That's just the way it goes. It's a long shot for a muzzle or a long shot for a rifle, for that matter. So, um, a dad was heartbroken. Um, I know, you know, dad. He, you know, that's his dream. He's the one guy out of us all that will hold out for for something truly huge at every trip and go home empty-handed and not be disappointed and to finally get that opportunity at the bull he's always wanted and not get him. Um, it sucks, but hey, it's hunting, and, and that's why next year we'll just go after it again and, and try to get another one, and that, that's just part of it. Morning number two here in New Mexico on Dad's hunt. Um, back at the scene of the crime from last night. We shot the gun this morning. <clears throat> it was off a couple inches to the left, which would make a bigger difference at 500 yards, but we're going to adjust it. We already found one of the big bulls we've been seeing in here. The real big one that was with him. We haven't seen him, but uh, there's a good chance he's still in here. So I'm going to be really quiet and keep class and see if we can find him. But uh, nice morning. No wind. Cold, but no wind. So.
Hey Wes, tell me a bottle of water. Like I said, it was the first night when Dad missed this bull. Um, we were like, well, we got you know four more full days of hunting. We're definitely going to find this bull. And there was also another bull in the exact same area. Um, I would say probably a 350 class bull, a five by six, beautiful bull. Um, kind of decided, you know, at some point if if we had an opportunity at him, we'd maybe try to take it too uh, later on in the hunt. But I mean, we moved around, went from mountain to mountain to mountain, and it's so thick in there. You know, they they could be there the whole time and not even see them, but. We spent the rest of the week and we never did find that bull. You know, it's just, it's the reality. It's the way it goes. Um, they're big for a reason. And uh, that's next year he'll be that much bigger and hopefully we can get on him. Stay tuned next week. We're going to be heading south of the border to Sonora, Mexico, chasing mule deer and coos deer.